talk about the three-step process that you need to master delegating. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. Now, let's say you want more time in your schedule. Let's say you wanna scale your business. Let's say you wanna sell more real estate while not having to work twice as much. So the skill set that you need is to learn how to delegate effectively. So let me tell you about the way that most people delegate before I get into the three-step process. This is how most people delegate. Um, hey, I'd like you to do this task. Um, can you work on it? Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much. Then they're gone. Okay. Um, they basically, it's like we call it pigeon dumping. They basically come, drop a big dump on you and leave. Don't give you any clarity. Don't give you a deadline. Don't um, really empower you with the right tools. And then they're frustrated with you when you don't do it right. So they criticize you, which makes you not want to do it again. And it's a it's a lose-lose for both people. So let's talk about the right way to delegate. Step number one is to start with an outcome. A clear outcome should be the task, the why behind the task, the date and the time that you would like it finished. Okay? So let's start let's start with clarity on the task. So uh, the more clear you are, the more likely it's going to be finished. So let's say I'm delegating a flyer to someone. I want to go door knocking with it. So I'm going to get really clear on the task, the why, the date, and the time. So, uh, hey, uh, you know, Dave, need you to make me a flyer so I can go door knocking with it this week. Um, I'm going to be door knocking on Friday at 10 a.m. So I'd like for you to finish it by um, Thursday at 12 so I can give you any edits I have. So Thursday at 12 p.m. is when I'd like it finished. And this is my vision for this. I would like to have these three things, a testimonial, um, a picture of a home we recently sold, and then bullet points of the top five details of the home, um, as well as some kind of call to action. Could you help me with that? Okay. So now I'm getting really clear. I'm starting with the outcome and I'm getting really clear. Now I'm talking about the why behind it. Now, um, one of the reasons I want a testimonial is because I want to build credibility with the people that I'm door knocking and I want to build, um, I want to attract sellers. So could you put a testimonial from a seller in there? See, I'm getting, I'm talking about the why behind it. I'm getting a little bit more clear and now I have that date and that time. So I'd like this finished by Thursday at 12 o'clock so I can have a final copy ready by Thursday at five o'clock after I give you my edits, okay? So that is step one, is start with a clear outcome. That is how you delegate. Step number two is inspect what you expect. So one of the mistakes that leaders make when they delegate things is they'll say, can you get this to me by Friday? And then they never check in. Ultimately, as the leader, you are responsible. You're responsible to make sure that that task is finished. You're responsible to make sure it's done right. Now, in the beginning, when you're delegating, you're going to need to inspect what you expect until you can really, really get clear on your outcomes. The more clear you can get on your outcomes, the less you have to inspect what you expect. But in the meantime, while you're just starting, what you want to do is you want to say, great, you're going to finish this flyer Thursday at 12 o'clock. Um, it's now Monday. I'm going to check in with you tomorrow afternoon just to make sure everything's going okay with the flyer, see if you have any questions, see if you have questions about color scheme, et cetera, et cetera. So inspect what you expect or you might follow up if you you know are concerned that they're a little bit stuck on a project hey um it's wednesday morning um have it you know I, I just wanted to check in i know that the flyer um we're going to have that finished by tomorrow at 12. i just wanted to see if there's any parts of it you're getting stuck on or any questions you have so inspect what you expect and if they're stuck which is what usually happens this is what usually causes the project to delay is they get stuck on some detail. You need to come from a place of humility and offer to help. Um, hey, just wanted to see if there's anything I can help you with in the project. Yeah, actually, I'm a little bit confused as to where to put the testimonial, this and that. Okay, great. Could we set a time to talk about it? So that's step number two to effectively delegate is inspect what you expect. Step number three is document answers and create an FAQ around it. So document answers and then create um, the frequently asked, you know, answers to the frequently asked questions. So what do I mean by that? So if you're regularly delegating a task, it's not just a one-off task, right? You're regularly delegating, hey, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? You want to find out what the commonly asked questions are from your team or your staff or somebody you're delegating to, and you want to document those. So for example, let's say you're recruiting somebody to your real estate team and you're um, delegating something to them. Um, hey, you're going to be working with buyers. 
um, you're going to be showing them property. And every time you hire a buyer's agent or showing specialist, they ask you, you know, a certain question. Maybe, you know, what do you do? Um, what do you do when a showing cancels uh, last minute? Or how do you communicate that to the client or whatever? What you want to do is you want to document. You want to literally create a video or a text template or something where you can document how to deal with that specific scenario. That way you can leverage your time and not have to re-explain something a hundred different times. So that is step three to delegating is document answers uh, to the commonly asked questions, the frequently asked questions, okay? That way you're pulling yourself out of the process and you don't have to keep doing it more and more. Um, so after that three-step process, you've started with an outcome, you were super clear, you inspect what you expect, and then lastly, you documented answers to the frequently asked questions you get. What if this doesn't work? Somebody might ask, well, I tried all that and, and it didn't work. The, the task still got put back on my table. You know, the person didn't do it right. Something happened. Here's how you know. Here's the scientific formula. Here's how you know exactly what, what happened in, in two ways if it didn't work. One, you weren't clear enough. This is 99.99999% of the time. You weren't clear enough. You didn't explain something clear enough. Or possibility number two, you've got the wrong person on the wrong boat, uh, wrong person in the wrong role. Um, so essentially, the person's just not capable of doing that, and you um, you need to find someone else. Now, I say 99.9% of the time it's you because. A lot of the stuff we have to delegate in real estate is super, super simple. And you think it's really complicated, but you're actually just not challenging yourself to be more clear and to get more clear with your outcomes and your why and your date and how you would like it done. The more clear you are, the less likely mistakes are. This is why, you know, people can work at McDonald's and Walmart that when you when you ask them a question, I mean, they may not be the brightest people, but they've created a system that is so strong. They're so clear on what they do to train the people that they know how to handle the situation. So just be as clear as you possibly can, and that is going to solve 99% of your problems. This is three steps to delegating um, effectively, and I hope this video was valuable to you. If you're watching it on YouTube, please subscribe, um, like, and comment on this. And if you're watching it in the Facebook group, um, comment below what else helps you to um, delegate more effectively. Thanks for watching.